from sold out Cameron Indoor Stadium here in Durham, North Carolina. 9,314 of the loudest folks you will ever meet, and they are all pretty pumped up here for this matchup between North Carolina and Duke. What's at stake? If Carolina wins, outright ACC regular season champions. If Duke wins, they share the regular season title, and who's the one seed in Washington? Still to be determined a bit. Hubert Davis in his third season as head coach of the Heels. John Shire in his second as head coach of the Blue Devils. And it's visiting Carolina with the first possession of the game. Duke already switching some exchanges. Now Jared McCain switched off onto Harrison Ingram. He's going to go one on one in the post. Ingram had a huge game against Duke back in Chapel Hill. 21 points, 13 rebounds. Carolina trying to chase over the top of those handoff actions. Filipowski, the spin, and the fadeaway will go. And here's Filipowski with that footwork, able to pivot, and that's a difficult shot. Roach to Filipowski, around and out, and the rebound down to Ingram, who's the leading rebounder for the ACC in conference games. Cormac Ryan with the quick release and buries the corner three. This is nothing new for him. But Carolina really getting out on the perimeter to impact the ball. And the friendly roll for Mark Mitchell. Second field goal of the night for Duke. Good D by Proctor to stay in front of him. Ten to shoot. Ingram trying to back him down. Banks at home. Tough shot. He's off to a great start here in this one as well. He's got six points, three rebounds. All us He's the connector of the team. Ryan in transition. No call. And then a steal by Cadeau. What a play by Cadeau. And Cormac Ryan knocks down his third three of the game. North Carolina has come out with its hair on fire. That's quite a hairdo that Elliot Cadeau has. But not only getting the steal, but having the presence to kick it to Cormac Ryan for his third. Cadeau using the ball screen from Baycott, the drive, the scoop, and the finish. Screen up top in the slot. And Elliott Cadeau able to turn the corner. We barely said R.J. Davis's name, and Carolina's up 13 already. That shows you that they're a pretty, a pretty good club. It's not just a one-man show with this guy. Blocked from behind by Sean Stewart. Cormac Ryan has returned for Carolina. Again, he's got three threes already. Nice feed oh. from R.J. Davis, and Washington slams it home. Given really solid minutes, and the excellent penetration by R.J. Davis. Gets in the lane, draws Ryan Young, and Jalen Washington with an exclamation point on the play. And when you get resistance, you have to meet it with as much strength as it, they give it. Cadeau's pass is stolen, and Proctor gets them all riled up here at Cameron with the steal and the dunk. Filipowski has it knocked away, gets it back. Now McCain, who's been so good for Duke, knocks down a long two. Well, T.J. Power, 13 of his 14 field goals on the season are threes, but you can drive him. Ingram drove Mitchell, got it back, and hit it. Get all the way to the rim, and Harrison Ingram, just playing bully ball inside, gets his own rebound off the block shot. The first game they played against Arizona here in the building, Umar Ballo didn't even go out to go near him, and he has really improved. Cadeau with a drive. Look at the quickness that this kid has. Carolina leads by 15. Offensive rebound, McCain. Proctor for three. Tipped up and in by Filipowski. Baycott kicks it back out to Davis. Still lots of time. Lost it. Proctor ahead of the pack to lay it in. Difficult to score in this game, but they've gotten a couple buckets with Tyrese Proctor taking it the other way. Had a steal off of Baycott. That's two buckets that Tyrese Proctor has off of Carolina turnovers. One off the rip steal, and then Davis mishandles it. Trimble turns the corner and he lays it in. Went out to the left then came out back to the right. And boy, did he set his feet in a hurry. Good defense, better offense. Nine for McCain. Soft touch in the mid-range game for R.J. Davis. The guys on both teams, they don't shy away from the physical play. They'll stick their noses in there. Wide open, Proctor. Boy, Hubert Davis can't be happy with that. That was too easy. 
Trimble passed up the three, steps in for the two, and hits it. Wow, a tee passed up an open three for a difficult two. Filipowski gives it to Roach. Right now, Duke looks like they're cutting at three-quarter speed. Roach with a nice drive gets the lead down to seven for the heels. And Ingram the rebound and lots of time for Carolina to get a look. Ingram a tough one in the corner. Withers up and in. Boy, if that's not emblematic of the first half. Duke and an offensive rebound and put back for Jalen Withers. Tough shot. Ryan not shy at all misses the three and Mitchell down with a rebound for the Blue Devils Davis was the first cutter Ryan the second Roach Ryan good defense but Filipowski comes up with the loose ball and lays it in Baycott good deflection and steal by Filipowski has had his hand in the passing lane for that little pocket pass lines up with Ingram on him the turnaround goes bully ball against Harrison Ingram and he doesn't. I can still improve. I've got to be coached. As we welcome you back to this ESPN Sonic Blockbuster, Carolina leading Duke by six. Filipowski, what a start to the second half for him. Well, even though he missed it, I, I still think Carolina needs to go and play through Baycott. McCain to an open roach. Count it! And it's a one point game. 25 points, 10 rebounds, and five assists in the first game back in Chapel Hill. He's got two points, four rebounds tonight. Now he has just doubled his point total, and he's going to the line as well. Clock, but he just went one on one in the post. Duke decided not to double, and he just gives a little drop step, got the contact, and still finished that. The fourth foul on Filipowski, but he takes himself out of rebounding, and Withers took advantage of it. That's two stickbacks in this game for Jalen Withers. And a block for Baycott. And a great look ahead for Ryan. He will lay it in. The fourth foul on Filipowski, but he takes himself out of rebounding, and Withers took advantage of it. That's two stickbacks in this game for Jalen Withers. And a block for Baycott. And a great look ahead for Ryan. He will lay it in. Against Filipowski, and that gave the offensive rebound, and then the run out. Filipowski driving on Baycott. Got him to bite on the fake and lays it in. That was beautiful. Filipowski getting to his right hand here with the inside pivot and this shot fake and then pivot just let Armando Baycott fly by. Just a great play. Withers down with a rebound. Boy, Withers has challenged at the rim on numerous occasions. He's been so active. Carolina getting good minutes out of their bench players tonight as Baycott lays it home. But back to Wake for a sec. That is an enormous win for Steve Forbes and the Deeks. They had lost their last three. They put themselves in real jeopardy. Joe Lenardi has them next four out, I believe, at the moment. That was almost a must-have for them beating the Tigers tonight. The scoring leader in this game. What a play by Cadeau. And another example of a Tar Heel getting to the floor first. But it winds up in a loose ball and a Tyrese Proctor three off a broken play. Falls on Stewart. He's now got four and he's gone to the bench. So Ryan Young has come back in and Young is on Baycott. John Shire obviously deliberately trying to keep Filipowski away from Baycott right now. Wow. Connor Mack Ryan for three. Mondo Baycott one on one in the post against Ryan Young and Jared McCain. Davis finally a little space and he knocks down the runner. He has such a good middle game. RJ Davis held in check tonight four for nine nine points for the ACC's leading score. They're making him give up the ball Ingram and it counts Ingram the drive. Over Filipowski, he knocks it down. Boy, what a shot by Harrison Ingram. Going at Kyle Filipowski. Put him in a position to get a foul or maybe to back off just a little bit. But he put great pressure. Duke thought that Ryan was going to set a back screen. And instead, it was a pin down, a counter. Wow. Filipowski with the response. Guarded by McCain. Help from Filipowski. Good pass. Trimble, another good pass. And Filipowski with not one, but two rejections at the rim. And a little horn set. And now they clear aside. Ryan. Wow. It is his night. 
six made threes for Cormac Ryan. And look how quickly Cormac Ryan gets this off. Jeremy Roach couldn't even get a hand up. It was so quick. Even his teammates are impressed. Roach drives and kicks. Power in the corner. And he hits it. Davis just throws it up. Baycott gets it back to Cadeau. Oh! It goes! Are you kidding with the shot clock winding down? Did he get it off in time? It looked like he did. Did he get it off in time? It looked to me in live action like he did, but it was close. He, he did. did. Yep. What a big play by Elliot Cadeau. I mean, that was a fingertip away from being a shot clock violation. But you see, it leaves his hand before it gets to double zero on those red numbers. But Proctor was barely back in bounds in time. He's trying to go coast to coast, and he will succeed. Still a six-point game, 35 seconds to go. McCain, there's Power. Ingram the closeout. Power the drive, and he lays it in, and it's down to four. 15 seconds, that's it. Proctor kept alive by Filipowski. Roach, and that goes in. And it makes it a one possession game for Mac Ryan having a career night on a big, big stage. That is his 30th point of the game. And I think he just salted this one away. Two possession game with 4.7 in regulation. What a game by Cormac Ryan. Started it strong, finishing it strong. Made them both. Just 4.7 seconds to go. Tyler Zeller this morning talked about nothing better than a quiet Cameron Indoor Stadium. And it's pretty quiet right now as this one comes to an end. Carolina sweeps the regular season series from Duke. They beat him by nine in Chapel Hill. They beat him by five here tonight. They lead wire to wire. And they are the outright ACC regular season champions. They'll go into Washington in the ACC tournament as the one seed. Duke will go in as the two seed.